In this video, I'll be covering how to add a new font to your page. This section is hard, so please pay extra attention. To add a new font, you must use a font face statement. And what a font face statement does is it takes a font file and makes it available for you to use as a type of font. So it becomes just like the fonts that come with your browser by default, like Arial, like Times New Roman, Georgia. Now before I begin, I want to make sure that the font I'm using, I'm allowed to use it for commercial purposes without paying for it. Because in practice, many fonts that you download off the internet are actually free only for personal projects. Now the fonts off of Google are safe to use for both commercial and non-commercial projects. Perhaps let me show you the license agreement in the FAQ. See, it says in the question, the license is available for commercial and non-commercial projects. Now, do not, it's a big mistake, do not assume just because you can download something for free, you can use it freely in your commercial project. For example, downloading an image, if it is not licensed for commercial use, and it does not say no attribution required, can get you sued because it is illegal. Yes, I know people do get away with it, but people have been sued for big money. So keep that in mind, big mistake. So anyways, back to our project, let me show you what the syntax of the font face statement looks like. So let's start off first by writing font face, open the brackets. There's two values I add. First is font family. The second is source. And font family is what do you want the font's name to be? This is the name that if another element wants to set itself to this font, it would write this word in. So in our case, our script is called dancing script. So I'll be naming it dancing script. It's two words, so I have to use double quotes. Now, I could actually have named this whatever I wanted, but of course, it's best to pick a name that closely relates to your real font name. So if I had named this font Pumpkin or Apple, that's technically allowed, but it wouldn't make any sense. And as I said, since the font is two words, we need to use double quotes. And the second part is slightly trickier. And in this part, you would write the following URL brackets. And inside, I would write the file path to my font file. Let me show you what font file I'm referring to. This is the file I'm talking about, the one I've highlighted. And you would put this file name into URL. And you should note, of course, that font files will end in either OTF or they will end in TTF. Now, as I've said before, this section is a bit confusing at first, so let me show you with a real example. So this is how I would include a newly downloaded font into our document. So let me write a font face statement. Let's set the font family to dance it script. And let's set the source to URL. And I'm just going to copy and paste the file I just showed you, the name. So uh, just to repeat, the font family, since it's two words, I have to use a double quote. If it was just one word, I wouldn't have to. But anyways, now that our font face statement is set, let's create the dividers. The first divider, I'll be giving it a font type of dancing script. So create a divider. Let's give this divider an ID of A. Let's give it a height of 150 pixels. Give it a width of 150 pixels. Let's give it a font family value of dancing script. And let's add some text. This is dancing script font. Whatever, the, the text isn't important. So anyways, let's create second divider. Give it an ID of B. And this divider, I'm not going to set any font. I'll just give the default font. So let's add B's height to 150 pixels, width to 150 pixels, and we won't set any font. Let's add text inside. This is default font. So let me show you how this looks in a browser. See? 
This is how our code will look in the browser. The top is the one we set ourselves. The second one is the default font. Notice they're very different now. So we've, so we've now learned how to set a font that doesn't come with the system by default. Anyways, this is what finishes our video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.